ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಸೊ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ತ್ಯಾಗ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಹರ್ ಟಾಕ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ಯಾಗ ದ ತಾಮಸಿಕ ತ್ಯಾಗ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಸೊ ಈಸ್ ಲೇಜಿ ಆರ್ ಶೀ ಈಸ್ ಲೇಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ರಾಜಸಿಕ ತ್ಯಾಗ ಹೂ ಡಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಲೈಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಲೈಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಲೈಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ he or she will do it it may be very easy but the person does not like the work he will not do or she will not do so based on likes and dislikes the person gives up the work which needs to be done that is called rajasika tyaga and in yesterday's shloka krishna paramatma explained satvika tyaga and he said satvika tyaga is about not not doing or doing doing what needs to be done and giving up attachment to the action and giving up the insistence on the result a particular result of the action like you work hard you do everything for your exam yoga school is having exam starting monday so you or that next week you do whatever can be done as far as your study is concerned but you have no insistence that this is how my result should be so you take the result as bhagwan prasada so therefore this is satvika tyaga otherwise in third chapter it is called karma yoga he is giving the same name or different names to the same aspect the same aspect the attitude with which you do the duty so therefore he names him as satvika tyagi and that tyagi is being talked about here so before i go to this shloka just a brief to understand what is its nitya naimittika karma there are two types of karma i have already talked about it but we will again see there are two types of karmas laukika and vaidika laukika means that we do in day to day life like brushing your teeth right coming to the school right then going out to buy certain things these are called laukika karma then vaidika karma or karmas which are prescribed in the vedas and in that you have nitya naimittika karma what is this nitya naimittika karma see all of us are born with bodies we have body we have a capacity for thinking we have a capacity to see capacity to hear we have the viveka shakti animals don't have that viveka shakti shakti discriminative power all of it all of it is given to you did you create it did i create it no it is given to us now when something is given to you and you need it why do you need the body why do you need these capacities to do whatever you want to do so and you need it so when you need it you have to maintain it or not so you have to maintain your body you have to maintain your mind you have to maintain your intellect prana has to be maintained you do pranayama so maintenance becomes our duty and not only maintenance it has been given to you so somebody is in charge of giving it to you so you pay gratitude to that entity this is basically the crux of nitya naimittika karma maintaining and paying gratitude you should have that gratitude buddhi that understanding that yes i have got so much and therefore i am paying obnisance to them the one who has given me and this is through panchamaha yagna so you have the karma yoga and this is called the person who does this nitya naimittika karma without attachment and without insistence on a particular result is called tyagi here so now let's go to this shloka in this shloka we are talking about what happens to such a tyagi what kind of attitude that does he display so na ದ್ವೇಷ್ಟಿ ಅಕುಶಲ ಕರ್ಮ ಕುಶಲೆ ನ ಅನು ಸಜ್ಜತೆ ತ್ಯಾಗಿ ಸತ್ವ ಸಮಾವಿಷ್ಟ ಮೇಧಾವಿ ಛಿನ್ನ ಸಂಶಯ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಸಚ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ತ್ಯಾಗಿ ಸೊ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿಲಿ ಈಸ್ ಅ ತ್ಯಾಗಿ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ ತ್ಯಾಗಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಡಸ್
it is talked about he is called tyagi here what happens to him he has finished doing karma yoga so therefore he does not have any raga dvesha he is not saying it's a duty to be done right many people cannot get up early in the morning but if you have to get up early in the morning to do yoga asana you have to get up just because you don't like but it needs to be done you can't say i cannot do it because i don't like so this person does not have that attitude then he does not like something too much he does not get attached to those activities which are purifying activity also because he understands any activity you do like puja yagna they are all meant for purification of one's own mind refinement of one's own mind and once your mind gets refined how do we understand whether our mind has got refined or not we will start getting attracted more to the pursuit of moksha freedom liberation and you will start doing things which are required for moksha more so all of you maybe initially you will do yoga because you have learnt yoga then you start doing yoga because you see the benefit in that so you see that i am able to have control over or i am able to regulate my mind i am able to regulate my sense organs so having become tyagi that tyagi is able to do karma yoga without any attachment and there is no to be done nice it feels nice it does not feel nice such a thing is not there and that tyagi he will have sattva buddhi sattva buddhi means raga dvesha will be very minimal you cannot say it will not be there at all it will be there but very minimal so raga dvesha will be there so that person with very little raga dvesha is called sattva samavishtah his mind is ready to see a lot of things he has a discriminative mind he understands what is permanent what is impermanent and he wants something that is permanent he understands that i am not this body i am not this mind he understands i am different from that and he wants to know more and then he goes through the uh, the practice or rather the discipline of jnana yoga and then he becomes medhavi initially he listens to the knowledge he understands so medhavi here means the one who has the knowledge and then with the knowledge chinna samshaya chinna samshaya means he has removed all the doubt what is the doubt that knowledge alone can give me moksha knowledge of who am i alone can give me moksha and that alone is enough sufficient nothing more is required and once the person gets knowledge then what happens is there in the first line this is how shankaracharya ji puts it nadveshti akushalam akushalam means what initially all of us do activities which we want to do right which we desire so it is called kamya karma and it is called akushalam you know why because you do some karma and because of that karma some result will come either it will come now or it will come in the next birth so you have to get a body for it and then the entire cycle continues therefore it is called akushalam ashubham so kamya karma is called ashubham akushalam karma this person who has the knowledge that i am akarta will not have any hatred towards such a karma and then kushale na anusajjate such a person who has the knowledge will not get bound to a satvik activity too like what do you mean by getting bound if i am not able to do a yagna for a day for some reason which is not under my control i will not get panicky because he understands he has already got what is to be got from satvika karma or the yagna the panchamaha yagna yagna dana tapa this karma whatever it has to give it has given him and he has also got the knowledge therefore he does not get attached to it neither he hates kamya karma nor he gets attached to nitya naimittika karma this is what is told in this verse by krishna paramatma thank you sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashche dukha bhag bhavet 
ಓಂ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತಿ